Today I'm going to show you five useful tools for Muse designers. These are tools that you won't find in Muse but are very helpful when you're designing or testing your website. So this is our first tool. It's a tool that helps you discover your device values and also you can instantly figure out the size of your viewport. So if you open this link, mydevice.io, uh, with any device, it will instantly tell you the size of your viewport. So in this case, my viewport is 1,438 pixels. And you can also, like, if we bring this, this a bit smaller, then you can see how the viewport also decreases. So now, now it's 990 pixels. And this is handy when you're actually testing your website in, in, in different devices. Okay, so our second tool is an online image compressor. Okay, so uh, it's called optimizilla.com. So you just have to upload your files here and then it will optimize it for, uh, you know, for web design. And first thing is, I'm, I have prepared here some three photos which have already been resized. So what you have to do is just, you have to drag it here and let it upload. So when it's done uploading, what you have to do is just go down and you can see the original photo and a preview of the photo being optimized. And you can actually like bring it up or bring it down as much as you want. And always remember like not lose that much quality. So here you can actually see when it's too much on when you're doing okay. And remember when this is done, you just have to click on apply and it will apply it to the picture. And you can do the rest of the pictures here. It's really fast and when you're done, you just have to click on download all and then you'll get all the pictures already optimized. So let's go now to our third tool. Our third tool is called colorlovers.com. And here you can find loads of inspiration. You can find color palettes, you can find color patterns and or just single colors. So whenever you're designing and you need a little bit of inspiration, you don't know how to, you know, what color combines with other, you can come here and get some inspiration. So what I use this sometimes is I directly go here to the search box and I click on the search box button and just imagine I'm going to show you a case like I have a, a color here I'm using this hex code here so this is my color and I want to know which colors are you know which colors can combine with this one so you can sort it you know differently by lows by name by date added whenever they're published and you know, you have here several options. So I just want to know which colors look good with this. And this is my code and just click on search palettes. So if you start scrolling down, you'll get, you'll get palettes with this, with the same color. Okay. This is the color. So you have many, many, many different combinations. Okay. I get, in fact, I think I have more than nine pages. So whenever you're stuck with, when you're designing with the colors, you can try this web. It's really, really, really good. Our fourth tool is ScreenFly. It's, it's called quicktools.com slash ScreenFly. Here you can test your, your website in different, you know, how it look in different desktops and tablets or mobiles. And not you don't have to, you know, upload your, I mean, your website doesn't have to be live, so you don't have to upload it. You can actually use when when you're previewing it. So... I've previewed this uh, Adobe Muse website. This is a preview, so it's not live yet. You can actually bring it here and copy it and you can start testing it. It will also work. Okay, so if you click this button, it means that you, it will allow scrolling. Okay, so let's see how this site will look in uh, Kindle. All right, and let's go for something smaller, a mobile like, you know, like the Apple iPhone 3 and 4. So see, this is, so this is good for when you're, when you're testing so you can see all the, the, the mistakes that your website has. So in this case, you know, Apple, the iPhone 3 and iPhone 4 are really, really, really small. So this 
will happen. But if you check it with others like iPhone 6 and 7, let's go to desktop. This is a really helpful tool because you can test the different sizes of the different devices and you just need to go into this website and that's it, so you can start testing. Our last tool is Google Chrome Inspector. It's an alternative to Quick Tools. It has the same function but the only difference is that you can customize the height and width while testing your website. So to access Google Chrome Inspector you have to right click and go to Inspect. Usually you will need to add a code to your website so Chrome Inspector will show your page like it will look like in a real device. If you don't do this, you will probably see blank spaces or you will experience problems related to page sizes. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the code. So you go back to Muse. I have the code here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. And go to Page, Page Properties and here in metadata just paste it and click on OK. Save the file and preview it in Chrome. So now right click and click on inspect and here you can start changing the values so let's say how it will look like in 1200 pixel breakpoint You can drag this bar and make it smaller so you can see how it looks and if it's responsive now it's working okay. And you can scroll down. So this is another way you can test your website in different breakpoints and not with the sizes of, the, of specific devices. Thank you very much for watching.